Well, hello, criminal defense attorneys of the world. I got a new criminal uh, defense strategy for you. Actually, it's a jury selection strategy. You all need to put this one in your hip pocket, and trust me, it will work. In the event that you're ever defending a liberal who uh, has committed some sort of liberal crime and you need to select the jury, your half, I think you, there's 12, so you get to slick, select six of them. Uh, bef during the hearings, what you want to do, bef and, and another thing you want to do is ask your defendant how many flu shots they've taken. If they've taken a lot of flu shots, that means they're part of the Borg. Uh, trust me, this is solid, okay? This is undoubtedly the way you want to handle this in the future, fellow defense uh, advocates. So, so if you're, if you're uh, the guy you're defending or the gal uh, says, I've taken a lot of flu shots, and then the crime has something to do with some sort of, you know, it's some, like, like a liberal, like, uh, let's say you were uh, rioting or uh, looting or something like that, and they got caught, this is how you want to defend those people. While you got your jury selection inside the jury, or and normally that wouldn't go to trial because you're going to plea it down and everything, but you can tell the defense. Now you can tell the prosecutor, hey, look, I, I know what y'all are up to, uh, Soros prosecutor. I know exactly how this works now. So I'm going to defend my defendant, and uh, this is how I'm going to select my uh, jurors, six of them. So at the end of the day, you'll end up with a hung jur jury at the worst, right? So what you'll want to do is ask everybody in the courtroom that that's getting ready, or you know how you have the, 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 uh, the uh, jurors come in. You ask them, have any of you ever taken a flu shot? And if you've taken multiple flu shots, well, do this. Go, how many of you have taken more than four flu shots? And you'll see people all raise their hands. Well, if they've taken more, you tell everybody else, just go ahead and leave. Say, now the four, the people that are still in the seats or that raised your hand for you've taken more. I'm getting hammered right now because... Uh, they don't want me to share this information because it's that solid. So, so you've got all of these people in the courtroom, and now all of a sudden the only ones you have left in the courtroom that you want to select from are people who have taken more than four sh flu shots. And integrate. I'll get into that. We'll, we'll we'll get into that. So what that does is tell you that these people have enough nanotechnology in them that they're Borg, which means they're Borg. And the guy you're defending's Borg, right? Because you've already established that. So they're the. If you've ever noticed, the Democratic Party's always on the same page, right? That's because they're all Borg, and their constituents are all flu shot taking Borg. And what that does is it puts nanotechnology in you that's driven by satellites. And now you know all of these people always look out for each other and are always this little collective of drones who are always going to look out for each other. So while you're selecting this uh, jury, make sure that you get the drones to be your jurors, right? And in the process of all of that, here's where the, 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 the cherry bomb is, right? The, the cherry on the top is somewhere in your uh, defense, if you can, Say that the government went after the person that you're defending and set them up somehow because they pointed out that the flu shot has mercury in it. So this is a double-edged sword. So now you've got people who don't know that and they don't know that they were trying to assassinate them by giving them Alzheimer's, which is exactly what mercury in the flu shot does. But that nanotechnology is in there as well that's gonna make sure that he gets off. Now you piss the jurors off when you tell them that this guy, well, it ain't gonna piss them off at him, it's gonna piss them off at the system, but this guy was saying that the flu shot has mercury in it and it causes Alzheimer's and he had charts and everything, even it doesn't have anything to do with this case, but this is something that you have to make admissible, Judge, because it steered the fact that he was getting in trouble in the first place, right? 
See what I'm saying? Because he was blowing the whistle on it. And not only that, he's under mind control by this technology that made him go commit that crime to riot and loot or whatever it is. So make sure as a criminal defense attorney, you get a jury of your peers, which would be people who's had a lot of flu shots who are in the same collective mind as the person who you are defending. If you do that, you'll never lose a trial. And you'll piss off the jurors for be at the at the government for the fact that oh well one of my collective buddies over here was telling the world that they're trying to kill us with the flu shot but we're all linked up now and we're one collective right you see how that works so that's a double-edged sword there that i would put in my hip pocket there um fellow defense advocates uh um uh, uh criminal defense attorneys and uh all of you of the like that is how you want to select your half of the jury in the future in those circumstances. And you can take that same information, even if it isn't like, let's say you just have somebody that's never taken a flu shot. Well, now you know what to pick. You're up, now you do the reverse, right? You do the opposite of that. See how that works? So it'll make your, um, your win rate go way through the roof. Just that simple information right there.